Hi, I'm Elizabeth Smith with Oliver Smith Jeweler, and I'm very excited today to review a extremely elusive special edition Panerai. This is the Panerai Perpetual, the Pam 715. If you're new to our channel, we have been Panerai dealers since 2000. We are a family owned watch and jewelry company headquartered in Scottsdale, Arizona. We have a lot of Panerai knowledge on our staff, myself included. So if you like Panerai, make sure to like and subscribe to get more content like this. I've been waiting to review this watch for a while now and actually get my hands on it. I had seen one once before, um, but didn't have enough time to snag it for a review. So if you know Panerai history, you know they've done one other perpetual calendar before. This was back in 2008 when they did the Ferrari edition watches. That perpetual calendar looked entirely different. Actually, I should say that entire collection looked totally different. And I will side note, I think those watches are a great buy right now. Um, Panerai did a little collaboration with Ferrari, 2008 to 2009 mostly, a uh, wide range of radio mirror models that look very different than Panerai watches today. So when Panerai announced they were coming out with this perpetual calendar, it was a big deal, especially in the Luminor world, we've never seen a perpetual calendar before like this. Let's start first start with the case because it's so pretty and striking. It is a platinum case. This is Panerai's Platinum Tech, which is their version of platinum. 44 millimeter luminor case. If you've worn platinum before, you know it's heavy. This watch carries some serious weight. You're going to know you're wearing a really nice dress watch. It's going to feel very important on your wrist. The dial is this really pretty sunburst green. I mean, green has been the color of the year. I think against this high polished platinum, it's really beautiful. I mean, this watch just looks expensive and it is, so they did a good job. Um, on the dial itself, we still, even though perpetual calendar is complicated, we're getting a really clean Panerai dial. This design was done on purpose. It's showing you what you need to know, other information's on the back. So perpetual calendar, if you're not familiar, different than an annual calendar in that it's gonna track the leap year for you. It also knows how many days there are in a month. We just passed through February and knew the February only had 28 days, very cool. So on the front here, we have our minutes and hours that you're familiar with. This is also a GMT. So we have that GMT hand. That's to track um, your home. It's a home time GMT is the idea. So off on the left, you're gonna see the seconds hand and then an AM PM indicator. The AM PM indicator coordinates with the GMT hand. That's a Panerai trademark. It's so when you're traveling, you can know if homes AM or PM. Over on the right hand side, we've got the day of the week and the date. Now that's really what you need to know. I think most people know what month it is. You're not always tracking the leap year, right? So very strategically on the back, and I think this is where this watch really shines, is up here in the top left corner, you've got your month and then also tracking the leap year there. Very clever. And even below it has the year written out, which is really nice. Down beneath there, power reserve, three day uh, automatic movement, but you can track the power reserve down there. And you're gonna notice the micro rotor is done in gold. Extra heavy, it's gonna really wind, especially on the wrist and help maintain this movement. Now, I think my favorite thing about this movement is how easy it is to work. If you have played with any perpetual calendars for other models, there's um, excuse me, other brands, there's buttons on the side, there's things you gotta push at the same time and the other thing, or you can break it and get it too far ahead. This works just like a Panerai. So let me actually put a glove on because I think this watch deserves it. I'm gonna show you kind of how this movement works and how easy it is to use. It's all done on the crown. So we're gonna open up the crown guard, just like Pan any other Panerai Luminor, we're gonna wind up, you know, to give it some power pull out to the first position, and that's gonna run our um, hours hand. You can see it also can go and hide that GMT hand, so when you're home, the idea is that you don't need to see it. And that's also how you roll the date. If you're familiar with Panerai movements, this is always everyone's favorite feature, is this quick set hand. So you're gonna roll the hour, and that's how you're gonna roll the days forward. 
If you want to go and just set the time all together, you pull a crown out to the second position and then everything moves together. Also, second hand stops, which is hacking second hand. I know a lot of people feel passionate about that. Really easy to use. Um, if you do roll forward, my you know recommendation would be just let you know the watch die. You can catch up. You can't roll too far forward because you're manually doing it yourself, which is also really nice. If you're familiar with perpetual calendars, again, you press the wrong button, you can jump forward a couple of years, you gotta send it in for service. It's really complicated. So the way Panerai has done this, I think is really genius and it stays true to the brand. Let me know what you think about the perpetual calendar below. And if you have any questions, we would love to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.